All right, here we go. Biggest hike ever, solo, Pemi Loop. Trying to do it under 11 hours, just leaving the ranger station Lincoln Woods. About to hit start. Let's go. The Pemi Jawasset River, flowing high. Hopefully, the trail's not too muddy. We'll see, we'll be up on the ridge, high ridge lines all day though, so. One and a half miles down on the smooth railroad grade from Lincoln Woods. Just turn the left towards the Flume Trail. It's gonna take us up to Franconia Ridge. The ascent has begun. A thousand feet climb. So far the trail's been smooth as a baby's bottom. I don't know what all these New Hampshire people are talking about. I say the trails are rugged. As compared to New York, Adirondacks, Catskills, this has been nothing so far. I don't wanna jinx it though. So, let's see what happens. First little hint of a view. Hour and a half in, climbed two and a half thousand feet, four and a half miles. It's been steady, slow, steep progress. It's only getting steeper up to the first summit. And I hear the wind howling up there, so hopefully it's not too crazy, but use a little breeze. Oh my. There's the first summit of the day. Wind is pretty intense. is whipping. It's on the last supposed to clear later in the day, so hopefully it'll be nice as we continue along the ridge. There's Flume and Liberty in the haze where we just came from. First peek into Franconia Notch just took my breath away. Oh my god. Just <laughs> casually running along the ridge. Franconia Notch down there. I'll be hitting those clips later. <laughs> On the scramble up to Mount Lincoln. <laughs> It's not even the highest point, somehow. Just a casual Sunday outing here in the White Mountains. You know, nothing, nothing too crazy. Just, you know, three straight miles of Alpine Zone. And I hope I don't walk up. Summit of Lincoln from North Lincoln, heading up towards Lafayette. High point for the route. Came off Lafayette, 52 50 feet. High point for the day. Just keeping it close because it's super windy. Continuing down the ridge. I think I'm leaving most of the people behind. It's pretty crowded back there, but nobody up ahead. Laying most of the bird out of the way. We're about 6,000 feet. Three something to go. A lot of downhill. Hopefully, they can take that quick and get my time goal. Alright, now we're about to drop about 1,200 feet in a mile. Should be fun on the knees. Whoa. Very intense up on the ridge line. Yum. Nice to be back in the forest after that knee pounding descent and wind. Mount Garfield, looming large up next. Second to last big climb, should be fun. Six hours in, wind has calmed down a bit. Wow. Starting along that ridge, from Conia Ridge, and down here to Garfield, summit's right there. That's Owl's head in the middle, not doing that. Then we're continuing along that whole ridge down there. Summit of Garfield, 
fifth major summit for the day. I am pretty pooped. A lovely trail, essentially just a stream. Summit of South Twin, number five for the day. I am completely pooped. 9,300 feet climb so far, but it's mostly downhill from here. Thank the Lord. I'm not sure when I recorded last. I was pretty toasted earlier, a bit of a low point, but I met up with a dude, climbed twin with him, which was the last big climb. Rested for a while up there. I gave up my time goal so I can ease up a little bit. Still don't want to be out here all night, but we're moving and definitely feeling heck of a lot better. Got three more peaks left to go, the bonds, and then we'll be done. Oh, then just like six flat miles back to the car, but yeah. Back in the Alpine, views are quite hazy from the wildfire smoke, but just waves and mountains. Traversing over to the three bonds. Summit of West Bond, dropped pack, did this little out and back extra peak. Seventh summit of the day. Oh, it was tough. Not sure why I did it, but we're here. The view is pretty incredible. That, rain, that range in the distance is where I started. That pointy peak is, uh, I don't remember his name. They came along this whole ridge. We're gonna go hit regular Bond and then Bond Cliff, which is just gorgeous. That's gonna be the last peak of the day. Summit of Bond, number eight for the day. Climbed about 10 and a half thousand feet. Time high by long margin. I also have to go down. One more peak on the way down though. Headed to the last summit of the day. Number nine. I summited Bond Cliff, possibly the coolest name for a mountain. And now it's a big descent, eight and a half, nine miles, straight down. First three are quite steep, and then it's a mellow railroad grade. Hopefully I can run it, and I'll be out of here before dark. Poles are stowed, We're running downhill, dropped about 1,500 feet so far. Thank God, the knees are cooperating. 6.30 p.m., coming up on 12 hours. It's about seven miles to go. Another two steep miles, and then straight out. We run this straight, be chilling. See what happens. The kindness of strangers, down to my last gel, which is, would have been a painful, bonky run out. And here we got peanut butter, banana, cliff bar. Doesn't get better than that. I haven't had one of these in ages. My favorite fire, flavor. Been following this dude out the last five miles. Less than two miles to go. Been running steady for the last hour almost. Raging river alongside. Headlamps are not going out. We're gonna make it just in time. I'm not taking my headlamp out. Oh, let's go. I'm so glad I have someone pacing me right now. Making this so much easier. Gave in, put the headlamp on, and now I'm walking out the last half a mile reflecting on a pretty crazy day. I cannot wait to be back in the car and hopefully I can walk out of the car and continue to walk for the future. So I'm not so sure.